to the shooting contest. McLovin took down Doug Gottlieb yesterday, and now Mike Penberthy, the Lakers shooting coach, is huh. here. What do I got? Five? Five. Uh, do squeeze off ten. Okay. One. Yeah, ah. no, no doubt about that one. I can. <laughs> Soft there front rim. There you oh, go. There's see, back room. When it rebounds back to oh, you, I that's when that. you know you really made it. <laughs> Plus, I tried on that one. I tried. I used to count them at misses if I hit the rim. Dan. Short. That was a miss. Short. <laughs> I think it switched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, was a, he shoots at least 90%. <laughs> just to I let you know. I stopped counting, by the way. I, I know. Even. I think this is 10. That's 10. 10. All right. All right. So what do you get? Seven? How about this? A tie is a win for McLovin. A tie? How on earth am I going to get it? Hey, here we go. First one in, right? Ten, ten. Oh. Yeah, ice water. It was oh, short arm big. in that one. Yeah. Cold water. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's all right, All right, McLovin. That's all we got? Eliminated. Oh, I should. I'm a professional. I should be able to make free throws. But, I mean, McLovin's got good form. He does actually. He's got, got a nice touch. A little nervous. nervous. He didn't. Yesterday, you know, yeah. he laid on the front of the rim a couple of times. Nice, he soft barely, front yeah, touch. He barely yeah, I, I'm totally nervous with him watching. <laughs> well, oh, but that's, oh, see, that's, that's the problem, though. Like Mikey said before, it's all mental. It's all mental. And none of us have any ability to it's play all that mental. game. Mentally. I gotta go in the water. Yeah, it's going in. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, take my Where's glass. the ocean? Oh, no. Mike, okay. where's the ocean? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Watch your... Four seconds. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Dan, it's nice. Come on in. <laughs> McLovin uh, didn't stand a chance against the Lakers shooting coach, Mike Penper uh, Penberthy, who went 10 for 10. Uh, McLovin missed a couple and then uh, paid off the bet. He jumped into the fountain here on the uh, home campus of AT&T DirecTV. I like the fact that there's not a basketball court normally out there and that we're out there and then somebody jumps into the fountain as you got people just coming to work here going, what's going on? Cameras out there. McLovin just walking in. He's all dripping wet I, with socks. I know. Now you paid up the bet, though. I'm kind of ruining your man cave, though. Well, actually, uh, yeah. It, this is Rich Eisen's <laughs> yeah, man Yeah, Rich cave. is not going to yeah, like it. Yeah. Trust me, as bad a shape as it was in when we got here, <laughs> they're not going to know we were here. Yes, I McLovin. mean, he barely, barely touched the rim. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful shot. Yeah. Did you, uh, yeah. What, did you think you could take him? No. No. But, you know, when he first shot, his first shot when we were warming up didn't look that great. And then all of a sudden, it's just on. Yeah. Well, there's certain – you'll always be able to shoot. You know, those who shoot will always be able to shoot, no matter what. You know, every time we're out shooting with Reggie Miller, we say the same thing. He can still play. He's in great shape. He's got range. And he just – there's certain guys that the ball is meant to be in their hands. Yeah, Paul. I guess I still don't understand why every NBA team has a shooting coach. They got a guy like him. Every team practices free throws. It could be such a weapon if you're an 80% or more free throw shooter. It makes you so dangerous that there's so many guards that can't shoot. I know big men, it might be a little different with hand size, but that's all you do for a living is shooting a basketball. And being a bad free throw shooter is such a detriment. I, I guess I still don't understand if it's mental or physical. Well, I think, I think there, there's a form, there's structure that can be tweaked. A lot of guys get an elbow that goes out, and you don't even know it's out. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a common mistake that people have. I was doing it until Larry Bird said, uh, your elbow, it's out. And, you know, he was right. But, you know, he's, he's there looking at the smallest of things as a shooting coach. It's not just your form. It's where you're shooting, how you're shooting, shot selection, those kind of things. Yes, McLovin. Is it anxiety? And it reminds me a little bit of golf. Like, if I'm alone, I can hit a golf ball. When people are watching me, yeah. I'm just a slight bit off. A lot of, you know, athletes will tell you they don't want to think. Like, you, you just react. You've thought before you got on the floor or on the golf course or on the football field. You don't want to necessarily start thinking about your throwing motion. You want to think about the game or the defense but you don't want to think, where's my arm? Where's my am I following through? All of that takes place prior to that, and that's what a shooting coach does. I'm always fascinated with that, you know, with, with what they see and how they see it. Because if you're a player, you know, he was a great shooter. He wasn't a great player. His job is to look at you to make you better. 
And then that's why I wonder if you get pushback from some of these players going, like, what do you know? You know, some of the greatest hitting coaches weren't great hitters. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.